What advice would you give to someone who's perhaps looking to become a trustee? Uh, well, I, I would say start with what are your skills and what are you um, seeking to, to achieve? How, who are you best aligned with? What causes do you have an affinity towards um, before you just jump in and, and take the first trusteeship that uh, comes your way? I think that's so important. I think it has to be, and this is again, it's about the involvement with the charity, it's about involving your passion and yourself with the with the um, charity. It's becoming involved with the charity because you believe in the objectives and the causes um, and you want to be supporting them rather than just sitting there and rubber stamping things again. Um, I, I a lot of people ask us around. Um, I'm really keen on getting a tr becoming a trustee, and how do I go around about doing it? And I, I think it is looking for what is it that you feel interested in. Do you feel interested in animal causes, or do you feel interested in um, prisoner reoffending mm. or preventing prisoner reoffending? So, what are the causes that you feel passionate about that you want to get involved with? Um, and I think. Perhaps my, my sort of small word of caution on it would be um, to think seriously if you are getting involved with a charity, to recognise that it may take more time um, than, than attending one meeting every um, three months or two months or, or however um, much it is, um, that you should only be a trustee if you're able to give something very positive, if you're able to get something for them through funding or um, other resources for the charity and if, if you can't give or get then you ought to really get out is the phrase that we use of, of a charity so you, you shouldn't be becoming a, um, a trustee unless there's really something that you can contribute to the charity yeah, that's great really interesting stuff thanks very much to you both